Welcome everyone, my name is Phantom, so we're back with some DLC5 clickbait today. Thumbs up, yeah, nice meme. So, to Kieran in the comments from the last video said I should do some Ascension gameplay. So that will be the next video because I just had tons of diaries, like 20 minutes of footage that I sort of wanted to use. So, I don't think it's too big of a deal. So, today we're going to revisit a series I wanted to do called Ups and Downs. So, we take something from Call of Duty Zombies, look at the good points, look at the bad points. Obviously, that's for ups and the downs. To see if it's a good thing or a bad thing. So, today we're actually going to talk about is DLC 5 or remakes, or whatever you want to say, in Black Ops 3 Zombies a good thing. I mean, of course it is. So first we're going to go straight into an up, so say they release all the Black Ops 1 Zombies maps and the Black Ops 2 Zombies maps with Black Ops 3 graphics, so everyone can play it, of course you have to buy it, but the up is that people who played these original maps, that like these maps, can now play the same map with the same feeling, just with Black Ops 3 graphics, and it's on the newer gen console, so it's easier to have access to, and then for the people who never played these maps, can now play these maps, I mean, that's great, like, like I said, again, if we do the Black Ops 1 Zombies and Black Ops 2 Zombies, that's like another two full game of Zombies, like, Jesus Christ, man, like, that's so much, that's so much content, um, that's just what I'll call it, so much content out there for people, it's, it would be great, I mean, that's a big up. So after Revelations and re the Revelations ending, Jason Blundell's love, the love for him, has sort of died down a bit and people are saying his maps weren't good, the story wasn't good, the ending wasn't good, and I see a lot of hate for Mr. Blundell, rest in peace, Mr. Jason himself. So, his, to get people on his side, to make people happy about Jason again, to make people interested in Black Ops 3 and the future for Treyarch Zombies, uh, remakes is the pretty much the only thing he can do, a DLC 5 is pretty much the only thing he can do until 2018 that can make people excited for the future again, uh, make people excited to see what Blundell himself has, and just for him to return as the, the loved Emperor, em Emperor Blundell, yeah, there we go. So yeah, that would be an up, because of course you want the fans, the community, to have faith in the person who's leading the charge, I guess, or just whoever is in charge of zombies, you know. Words, English words are hard. Okay, so here's a thing that I want to talk about, but I'm not sure if it's an up or a down, or if it's even relevant, but of course we have Infinite Warfare, right? One of the, or if not the most hated Call of Duty overall, and then there's the zombie side, which doesn't have much faith or hype around it right now. And it's a bit of a dead period for zombies anyway. So, of course they have their DLC season. I mean, DLC 1 has already been announced and it's released in two or three weeks from when this video is being made and uploaded. So, this DLC 5, I guess, this remakes of old zombies maps, if it does happen, remember, it's not confirmed. If it does happen, it shouldn't clash with Infinite Warfare because obviously they want the hype and the players on Infinite Warfare and they want the zombies community to be hyped for that new DLC so they really have to space the DLCs out so I mean it wouldn't make sense for Infinite Warfare zombies to release their new DLC their new brand new map to the series and then a week later just seven days later uh, Black Ops 3 releases its let's say a Black Ops 2 pack where you can buy all the Black Ops 2 Zombies maps, I mean, that wouldn't really make sense because then again it's money comes into the question, so it's like, can the Zombies fans, I mean, I'm not saying everyone's poor or everyone's rich, but there would be people out there who have to decide, okay, am I going to spend my money on, on the remakes or the completely new map? So it sort of divides the community, so I'm just going to put that an up and a down. Okay, I rambled on a bit too long there. And the last point, which is once again an up, is revive me. I have uh, the Colt, the starting pistol. Revive me, I have Juggern. Okay, bad, te terrible memes, terrible memes. So, like I said, the, uh, the Zombies community is in a dead period right now. I mean, 
Infinite Warfare itself is disliked, the zombies is in some ways disliked, but it's been a while since we've had a new map, and the community is really quiet, I mean, there's no new videos to do, big YouTubers of zombies, their channels are dying. Well, the views are down, right? The interest is down in Call of Duty Zombies as a whole. The Reddit has hardly any people on it because of there's no new information and the lack of hype surrounding zombies right now. But this new DLC would turn it around. I mean, it would bring back people who are interested in Call of Duty back to it, right? So, say there's a fan who played Black Ops 2 Zombies and they loved it, and then we just moved on to different games, they don't play Call of Duty yet, through friends or something they hear, oh, every single, I think there might be six or seven Black Ops 2 maps are now on Black Ops 3, and they're like, oh wow, I remember playing that, I'm going to buy that, and then they buy Black Ops 3, and then experience those maps, experience the remakes, and then it just brings people back, it brings interest and money back to the franchise, and, I mean, how is that a bad thing? Okay, so that's it, I think that's three ups and one down, so, I mean, it's pretty obvious. Why would remakes not happen? I mean, Jason Blundell pretty much said that new stuff is coming this year to Black Ops 3 Zombies, they're going to continue to support it, and it's, it's a big thumbs up. Why would they not do this? So if you did enjoy the video, remember to leave a like, subscribe for my terrible videos to appear in your sub box, um... Over and out, that, that's a saying, roger, roger that, over and out, bye bye, see, see you later.